Hello, friends. How are you? I by still my name. All right. Last time we were talking about wild animals, how dangerous they are, and what we get out of their skin. Okay. I gave you some um, activity. I believe you. I will use this word. You crushed everything. We said one use of wild animal. As for one use, I gave you so many. What do you, we said, we get meat from some animals, not all. That's why I said some. We get hides and skin from wild animals, and they also attract tourists. You can pick the simplest you can do, and then answer that. You are supposed to draw and name things. I believe you drew. Maybe you drew some bugs, bells, shoes. Um, how a wild animal dangerous to a farmer? Do you know a farmer? A person who keeps, who uh, grows crops and also rare animals. The wild animal can spoil the crops. The wild animals can also attack and kill domestic animals. Well, I hope we are together. We still have um, on animal life. We're talking about animals. And today I want us to see animal movement. You know to move from one place, to move, moving from one place to another. Yes. I want us to look at animal movement. Yes, I want us to see why animals move. You should be able to tell me at the end of this lesson, why? Why do animals move and how do they move? Okay, this is what you're going to look at. Why animals move and how do they move? All right, animal move for different reasons. We're asking ourselves, mention Three reasons why animals move. Why would they move? You also are an animal. You also are a person. Why do you move? Animals move to look for food. When they're hungry, of course, they won't sit there. They'll have to look up for food. So animals move to look for food. Also, animals move to look for shelter. Shelter is a home. So animals move to look for shelter where they're going to live. Animals move for protection. Maybe they are, you know, they don't feel comfortable here. They, they, they feel they're going to be attacked. So they, what they do, they move from that place to go and be protected from somewhere. Also, animals move to look for their young ones. For instance, um, for instance, you get lost. Mm. Mommy sends you to the shop and you take a different turn. She will have to move to look for you because you are your mother's young one. Okay. You see animals? Animals, this is an animal. This animal is moving to look for shelter. Where to, you know, to hide from the harsh condition. The harsh condition outside is there to my sunshine. So, this animal has looked for shelter. So, it's covering itself from and this one is moving for protection. Maybe something is chasing it. It's running away to look for protection. Okay, another way animals move, you see? They're looking for the other. Mommy, where did our sister go? See, they're all looking up. They're trying to look for the sister. They can't find the sister. Okay, so we want us to see how, however much they move. But you want us to, do they move the same? Do all animals move the same? Do frogs move the same way animal, uh, human beings move? Do f does a fish move the same way a snake moves? Let's find out. How does a fish move? Uh huh. I'm waiting. How does it move? Does it jump? Does it crawl? Let's see. Animals move in different ways. We have those animals that walk. We have those animals. You see, of course, a man walks. A man is an animal. A man walks. We have, oh, look at the baby. The baby crawls. So the walking, the movement here is crawling. So the baby crawls. The baby won't walk. The baby crawls. How, what does a baby do? A baby crawls. Aha. Uh -huh. A dog. What does a dog do? Does a dog swim? Mm -mm. A dog runs. A dog does what? A dog runs. So the movement here is running. And what does the running? The dog. So the dog runs. Another movement is gliding. Have you ever seen a snake? 
on TV. Yes, they are so, so dangerous. Don't go, don't you even think about going close to it. It glides. It glides. There's a way it moves. It glides. If we don't say glide, we say slithers. A snake, everybody says slithers. Slithers. A snake slithers. Same way. It slides, glides, or it slithers. Mm -hmm. A bird. A bird flies. You fly like a bird in the sky. A bird flies. Mm -hmm. um, oh, a caterpillar. A caterpillar wriggles. It can't move. It has those tiny, tiny legs. So it keeps on wriggling. Okay? It keeps on wriggling. Uh, so a caterpillar wriggles. A caterpillar say a caterpillar wriggles. Mm -hmm. uh -huh, we have something that swims. What do you think that is? Yeah, think. What is that that swims? Wow. What is that that is swimming? A fish swims. A fish swims. Mm -hmm. Then, oh, we have something that sleeps. That thing. Aha. Uh -huh. It is a frog. A frog leaps. So the leaping is for the frog. Aha. Uh -huh. The other ways. Animals that move by flying, we looked at them. You know those animals that move by flying? For animals that move by flying? Uh -huh. Those ones. We have the butterfly, the crow, you know a crow, that black bird, a grasshopper, a dove, you know a dove? All these ones are birds, okay? Uh-huh, a mosquito also flies. Mm-hmm, a bat, a bat, a bat, a bat is a mammal. We'll talk about that later. A bat is a mammal. A bat is not, um, it's not a, a bat, it's not, it's, it's not what we think that it looks like a bat. It's a mammal. An ego. Oh, the dangerous bird. An ego. Mm -hmm. We are continuing. Um, about, uh, we said the bees also move by flying. We, let's talk about the animals that move by walking. The animal that moves by walking very fast. The one that moves by walking, one is you. Yeah, you are an animal, you are a man. A man moves by walking, a cow. A cow moves by walking. Sometimes we don't even say cow, a cow walk, a cow charges because it uses a whole energy. So it charges, but also that is walking. A tortoise walks, goats walk, okay? So many animals walk. Aha, uh -huh, we are still continuing with the animals. We still with animal movement. And let's go, the locusts, the grasshoppers, move by hopping okay they move by hopping then the rats you have that rat at home you can never catch it it run rat, rats dogs all these ones move by running then caterpillars millipede you know millipede is sometimes very dark it's black it has so many many legs tiny you can't even count them we have worms Oh, these ones move by wriggling, you know, wriggling like this. Okay. Then a snake, we say the snake slithers or glides. The frogs, the frogs leap. A frog leaps. Okay. From one place to another. Okay. So we're still continuing with the animals that, um, yes. Animal movement, we've talked about how animals move and why they move. Okay, but now you know how each animal moves. You know the animals that move by jumping, by crawling, by, you know, everything. And you know why they would move from one place to another. This is a simple exercise which I would like you to, I think you can do. This is very simple, isn't it? Yes, you can do it. You can read. Why do animals move from one place to another? I told you, you're also part of an animal. You're an animal too. Why would you move from one place to another? You're going to draw. A name. Any one animal that moves by flying. Any. You draw. You can draw a name. How does a caterpillar move? There's a hungry caterpillar on the leaf. Wriggle, wriggle. Aha, uh -huh, that one. Dash moves by gliding. So you'll be able to tell me the animal that moves by gliding. I hope you've learned 
one thing or two or even everything. That's what I'm believing because you are my good children. I love you so much. Please keep safe, sanitize, and be nice children. Be helpful at home. Let your parents feel you at home. I love you so much. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.